I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. I gotta change the song, I can't afford the who. My name is Ryan, and I currently live in New York City. My girlfriend is Sophia. She lives in Mexico City. So I went to visit her. We hung out in Mexico City and bummed around some Pueblos Magicos in Central Mexico for a while before we hopped on a plane and headed to Cancun. Here's what happened when we got there. Today we have a busy day planned. We're going to Tulum, which is about one hour from where we are right now, Playa del Carmen. Along the way, we're gonna stop at a cenote. We are having breakfast right now. Sophie made some authentic quesadillas <laughs> with frijoles, beans, uh, coffee, and I'm having some fruit as well. So while we eat, we're gonna do something a little bit more interesting. We're going to talk about the differences between European Spanish, which I mostly know, and Mexican Spanish, which is a lot different. Mm -hmm. To get the, the obvious ones out of the way, there's vosotros. Nosotros. Vosotros. Nosotros. No, no, but ustedes? like- Ustedes? Ustedes, uh -huh. like in Mexico, another one is ita. I feel like in Mexican Spanish, everything is diminutive, like ahorita, ah, sí. <laughs> cochecito, desayunito, Una cafecito, right? Cafecito. Yeah. Everything's smaller. Mm -hmm. Is that because everything is cute? Yeah. In Mexico? <laughs> okay, then I have a list of words here of just things that are different. So, car, coche, carro, carro, <laughs> in Mexico. Yeah. Tomato. Tomate, uh, tomate. Jitomate. Jitomate. Like, what is tomate? Uh, tomate is verde, like tomatillo. Okay, so green tomatoes or like tomatillos is what we call them in the United States are tomate in Mexico. Computer. Computadora. Computadora? Ordenador, no? Aquí es computadora. Cool. Okay, so there's so many different ways to say cool. Nosotros decimos cool. Like, okay, in Mexico they use a lot of Spanglish. They literally say cool. In Spain, for example, I would say está chulo. Like, chulo. Papi, papi, papi chulo. Guay. Like in Mexico. Cool, padre. Padre, chido. Está chido, güey. <laughs> That's another one. So like, dude in Spain is tío, which means uncle. It's used as like, dude or bro. In Mexico they use güey. ¿Qué pasa, güey? No, no hablamos así. ¿Qué pasa, güey? No. ¿Qué pasa, güey? ¿Qué pasa, güey? Here, everyone knows, like, you call foreigners or Americans gringo. Gringos. And in Spain, they're called giri. Socks and sandals? Yeah. And, like, sunglasses. <laughs> Sunscreen. Here. Sunscreen. So what do you, if you don't want to look like a gringo, what do you wear in Mexico? That sucks. <laughs> Don't wear socks. <laughs> and with that piece of wisdom, we headed to a cenote for a dip. But I think it's worth telling you a little bit about Playa del Carmen, where we were staying. It's a fun resort town with tree-lined beaches located in the state of Quintana Roo. And if you visit, you'll definitely have to poke your head around its infamous Quinta Avenida, known for its nightlife and shopping. If you go to Quintana Roo, a cenote is a must-do activity. They're like giant natural swimming pools without all the chemicals and some of the bluest water I've ever seen. It's said that these limestone sinkholes were revered by the Mayans for their spiritual qualities. One thing's for sure, they are definitely the best way to cool off from that Yucatan heat. As we drove along the Riviera Maya, we saw these massive luxury resorts, which just go to show how prominent the tourism sector is there. When we arrived at the cenote, the first thing we had to do was rinse ourselves off. Luckily, the water was not warm, so we got some free cold therapy. 
This step is included because the cenotes lack all the chemicals that pools have to keep them clean. So you have to take a shower before entering to keep the water as clean as possible. Next we got fitted with our handy life vest which must remain on at all times in the cenote. So if you drop something in the water, consider it a sacrifice to the Mayan gods because diving is off limits. And with good reason. The crystal clear water can actually be pretty deceptive to your depth perception. I tried to jump into the water here thinking it was deep enough, but it wasn't and I actually banged my foot up pretty bad. So don't be like me, make sure the water is deep enough before jumping in. It turns out a lack of harsh chemicals is actually conducive to nature, as the cenote was filled with wildlife. We shared the natural well with turtles and different types of little fish and even bats in the cave parts. Aside from almost breaking my foot, we also discovered that my knockoff GoPro camera can float, which is good to know, because when Sophie threw it to me in the water and I didn't catch it, I thought it was gone for good until a friendly stranger pointed it out to me floating on the surface. So to rest my sore foot, we headed to a Tulum beach club and had some adult beverages to numb the pain. Tulum itself is basically one long strip along the coast, and these beach clubs are your best option to visit the beach. It was about $25 per person for a bed for the entire day, with food and drinks on top of that. So we made it to Tulum, we're in Via Las Estrellas, which is like a bar slash restaurant on the beach. It's pretty comfortable, got some tacos right here, fish tacos, and yeah, we're enjoying life. What do you think of Tulum? <laughs> Tulum gets Sophie's approval. We spent the rest of the day at the beach club, and we actually recorded some more Spanish translations, but unfortunately the music from the club next door kind of ruined the audio, so maybe we'll have to try again in a future video. Instead, please enjoy these outtakes of Chinese translations of American films in Spanish. And if you liked the video, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It's like this one. There's something with Mary. Uh-huh. Here it's loco por Mary. Mi amor verdadero soporta cualquier situación indignante. Estoy borracho y tú eres una prostituta. I'm drunk and you're a prostitute. El gran hombre mono idiota se va dando en el italesco. Is this, is this real? It's, it's a movie for kids too, right? Yeah.